on Halloween. It's too bad we're too mature for trick-or-treat. Yeah, I guess we are kind of past that now, right? As if we're gonna get all dressed up and go out begging for candy. I mean, really, someone from school might see us. I would just die. That's the great thing about costumes, though. At least you're in disguise. Not that I want to dress up or anything. Reza, can you help me with my ears? Sure, kid. But they're not ears, they're antennae. Actually, to be totally accurate, they're dingle balls. Where's your costume, Ray Ray? Oh, I'm not gonna dress up, Carissa. I'm just taking you around to the houses. I'm too old. Too old? How can we be too old for something when we're 12? This makes no sense. Wait a minute, are you guys thinking what I'm thinking? Dingle balls make good antenna? No, listen, it's not really trick-or-treating if you're taking around someone's little sister, is it? That's not embarrassing. That's just being really, really responsible. You know, you're right. It's more like babysitting. And if we're all going around babysitting anyway, we, we might, might as, as well, well dress up. up. I'll go tell my parents we're taking Carissa trick-or-treating. Okay. Wait, what should we go as? Something really super. Super! I've got it! Meet me at my house in 15! And now, introducing the superest superheroes girl kind has ever seen! Jamalama Jamie! Righteous Racer! And Significant Sydney! Ha! Oh! Ha! Whoa, cool! Superhero ninjas, I like it! With moves like that, we can take on whatever monsters Halloween throws at us. Can we go now? We haven't got all night. What's a ladybug got to do to get some candy around here? Okay, Sydney, quit showing off. We have to figure out moves that each of us can be famous for, like a signature move. Wait! First, we must swear to use our superpowers only to defend the innocent. Right? Uh, yeah, right. Whatever. Okay, now check it out. The just invented martial art of Ichi Kondo. This is the Flying Flamingo. Hoo ha! Hoo ha ha! Hoo! And this is the Crouching Wallaby! Ha! 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 <laughs> and this is the... Ah! The spiders in your hair! The ah! Spiders in your hair! Jamie, there really is a spider in your hair! Ah! Get it off me! Get it off me! <laughs> You guys were too mature for trick-or-treating. We're not trick-or-treating. We're babysitting. Right. Nice babysitting wig, Jamie. Sorry we messed it up. Eek! Get, Get it, it off, off me! me. <laughs> <laughs> Be, Be afraid. afraid. We're not, we're not done, done with, with you, you yet. yet. Oh, yeah? Well, those are truly hideous masks. Oh, sorry. You're not wearing Secret mission, code name Ladybug, all clear. Bring in the bug. Cute always gets the candy. <laughs> Don't tickle me. Uh, 
Oh, what a cute little ladybug. And what are you three supposed to be? Oh, we're not really trick-or-treating. Only, oops, oh look, I just happened to have a loot bag. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Me three. Cause we're Jamalama Jamie, Righteous Raza, and Significant Sydney, superheroes. Okay, bug. I'm tired. Maybe it's time to call secret mission ladybug over and out. Ooh. What's that? Oh, nothing. Probably the wind. I know what it is. It's those scaredy boys. If they think they're gonna get us with a little ooh sound, they've got another ooh. thing coming. Why are you scared? It? It's just Devin and Robbie. We know who it is. Now give us back our loot. Uh-oh, now I'm really scared. Girls are a lot more fun when they're screaming and running. Let's go home, superheroes. Raza. Harissa, what's the matter? Where's your loot bag? I lost it. I think Frankenstein picked it up. I can't believe it. A cute little ladybug's loot bag? You can't get much more innocent than a ladybug. I want my candy. This is a job for Jamalama, righteous and significant. Let's roll. Flamingos are so not, like, terrifying. We are here to defend the innocent. Now hand it over. Hand what over? Well, maybe a little itchy condo will teach you not to steal candy from kids. Get them, superheroes! Hi Frankenstein took my candy. But Carissa, Frankenstein is Evan. The other one. Other one? Look, there he is. Wow, he's kind of a, a b big kid. Wait a sec. A little too big if you ask me. Righteous, significant? Right behind you, Gemma Lama. Hey, who turned out the lights? What are you doing? Uh huh. The Gordon. 
Lauren twins. Should have known. Why are you two stealing my little sister's candy? We found it. It's Halloween. We're kids. Candy is what we do. Well, we're superheroes. And justice is what we do. Okay, okay, take it. Just don't hurt us. Sheesh. Here you go, bug. What happened? <laughs> you really are superheroes. <laughs> <laughs> nice move, Jamalama. I call it Flipping Frankenstein. Next year, we'll invent a bunch of new moves, and next year, we'll be way past trick or treating. You're never too old for some fun. Pass over the loot. Speak for yourself, Grandma. Reality check, we're entering teenhood here. I guess as you grow up, you never really stop being a kid. Okay by me. Pass over the loot. Sometimes you've got to stand up for things. Even if they're the grossest things on the planet. Whoa! Sid! Ray! Wait up! Look out! Get out of the way! I think she only took out one dog walker this time. She's definitely getting the hang of it. Did you see me? I actually stopped! People are so much softer than trees! Hey, check the little guy out! He's so cute! Cool, look at him go! It's... it's a disgusting frog! Disgusting? He could be a handsome prince for all you know! Let's get moving! I don't want to lose my momentum now that I've found it! You saved his life, Sid. He would have done the same for me if he'd had the chance. You're talking about a gross frog. The only thing he would do for you is give you warts. What's with the frog hate on, Jamie? Oh no, there's another one. Why is he crossing the road? I read about this in Ecoteen. It must be a natural path frogs take to get to the pond. Well, yeah, it was a wetland before they put in the road. My mom and dad organized that whole protest thing when it happened. I remember! It was four years ago. I was eight and it was my very first protest. Your parents are such eco-rebels, Jay. Yeah, yeah, all very ecological. But I think you guys have lost sight of what's really important. I'm trying to learn to rollerblade here. You can do that anytime. I vote we stay here and make sure the frogs get across. All in favor? That's the tenth frog we've rescued in an hour! We can't sit here all day. At some point, we're going to need to have some food, water, fun. Well, if you would just help a little more. Yeah, round some of them up and bring them to the safe side of the road. You mean actually touch them? Jamie, frogs are not freaks. Jay, catch it! Oh, get it away from me! What is your problemo? They're totally harmless. What did they ever do to you? Oh, right, I confess. I never told you guys about the, the frog incident. <laughs> Jay, you've got an incident for everything. What is it this time? It's almost too horrible for words, but I'll try. I was five at the time, and we were visiting my Nana's cottage in Eastern Ontario, frog country. I remember it like it was seven years ago. Lots of people are afraid of the noises the woods make at night, Jamie. But there's nothing out there except the trees and the animals. Animals? Make them go away, Nana. What's that? Just a chipmunk running through the pine needles. Let's you and I listen and try to figure out what some of the other little noises are. That way, they won't scare you. 
That was a cricket. I heard an owl, Nana. You're so good at this game, you don't even need me. That one was our funny old loon. Nana, Daddy says you're a funny old loon. Then she kissed me goodnight and everything seemed so perfect. Like that moment in a scary movie when you think everything's gonna be okay, only it's so not. That was just a frog, that's all. That was just my toes moving, but I, I didn't move my toes. Ah! <laughs> it stuck its tongue in your ear? <laughs> Too hilarious. I was five, it freaked me out. But you're not five anymore, Jay. These frogs need our help. And you can't let one incident where a tongue was in your ear risk the lives of so many. Okay, I get it. But chasing them around isn't exactly working. We need a mega plan if we're gonna save the froggy world from turning into Squish City. Now you're with us, Jay. You're right, we do need a mega plan. And I think I've got just the idea. Let's hop to it. Just a hundred more and you're done. 450, 450 451, 451, 452, 452 53, 54, 54 A penny a hop, that's all? 56, so this hopathon is to raise money for the frogs at Bennington Park? Yeah, to build a bridge for frogs. You know, to save them or whatever. Gee, we didn't know you were so concerned with ecological matters, JJ. Me? Yeah! Frogs and the earth and all that, it's always been my thing. I mean, well, Sydney's thing. And more Raza's thing. But with you two as parents, this eco stuff just kind of rubbed off on me naturally. 99, 500. 500. Well done. Here's your $10. Hmm. Off to a good start. Say, how much do you figure you'll need to raise for an entire bridge anyway? My ankle hurts. Now, Sid, nobody likes a quitter. I don't think she really understands the active part of the word activist. We'll just leave you girls to your hopping. Good luck. What? Is it my fault I'm the one with the head for money? This is the hard job. How much do we have, Sydney? Miss Head for Money lost count. $43 is my count. Your parents 10, plus the other 33 we earned before my ankle gave out. Not quite enough for an overpass. Not even a bus pass. This is hopeless. All our hard work for what? Pocket money. All our hard work? She's right, Ray. Hopathons are kid stuff. Well, no one's gonna give a bunch of kids a million bucks. Who would listen to us? Who? That's exactly it. If we want to be heard, we've got to shout, not hop. Will you please sign this really important petition to save the lives of frogs who are being squashed because careless drivers don't think and instead of slowing down, step on the gas when really they should be using electric cars because they're more durable than gas-powered cars and produce less pollution. Where was I? We really think it would be in your best interest to sign this petition right now or you might just end up with squished frogs right in your backyard. <laughs> Hi there, um, we're trying to get people to sign a petition to get this really cool band called the Frogs to come to our school. We figure if we can help them cross the border, then it would be so worth it. Sure. Thank you. That doesn't count. He's not even old enough to sign a petition. A band called the Frogs? Jamie, really? Are we on a mission to tell lies or a crusade to save our poor little green friends? There might be a band called the Frogs. You never know. Ugh, whatever, I'm beat. Let's call this crusade over for today. Okay, but first thing tomorrow morning, we put our heads together and think frogs. Think frogs! So, what's on for toad day? <laughs> Get it? Toad humor? This early in the morning? Actually, we're finally getting serious. Sydney has come up with the brilliant idea of a sit-in on the road. See if people ignore us then. I'm late, see ya! Whoa there, kiddo. On the road? 
Honey, that would be illegal, not to mention dangerous. But we have to! It's froggy life or death! No way! Like your mother said, it's too dangerous. Uh uh. <laughs> she and I know all about sit ins, and you just don't sit anywhere. That's right! You guys went to sit ins all the time way back in the olden days. I mean, the 80s. So, like, you totally understand them, right? How can you deny my right to speak out? How? Hey, hey, hey ho, 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 frogs, frogs have feelings, feelings, don't you know? Hey, hey, ho, ho, save our frogs or we won't go! Power to the frogs, man! We will not move until these frogs and their families are safe! Oh, Sydney, get it off me! It's okay, Jamie, he's just a frog. There's nothing to be afraid of. Nice froggy. Nice green gross thing. Hey, did you see that? It spoke to me and I swear it winked. All right, the party's over, break it up. And you are park supervisor? We will not move until something is done for our fellow mammals. Jamie, frogs are not mammals, they're amphibians. I knew that. We're going to stay here until something is done to protect the mammals, the amphibians, and most importantly, the cute little frogs. Hey, hey, hey ho, 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 save our, our frogs or we won't, won't go. Thanks to the heroic efforts of some extraordinary children, the plight of the Bennington Park frogs has been brought to the attention of the world. The mayor is about to begin the unfailing. What's next for you three eco-crusaders? We're just so happy, I mean happy, to be helping. Uh, maybe ducks? Whatever, whoever, wherever we're needed, we'll be there, ready to do it all again. Wow. Well, there you have it, folks. Kids who are hopping mad and frog friendly. Mr. Mayor, uh, can we get a shot of you with a frog? Uh, Mr. Mayor! I know what you're thinking. Tomorrow I'll forget all about saving the world. But I swear I won't. As long as what we're saving isn't too slimy, I'm so there. Just me.